Welcome to Ever Betters to my YouTube channel. I'm Susan and this is Buddy Sherman and we are so glad you're here. So today I have a 30 minute vinyasa flow practice for you all about movement and message. In the flow we're going to move in and out of variations of eagle pose. The message is about cultivating intuition and trusting faith. I hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up, push the bell for future notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get after the best version of you today. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Now, if you use that Spotify playlist, by following me on Never Better Yoga on Spotify, we're going to go ahead, push that button together right now. Then come with me. We're going to come around right into downward facing dog. So just let your hands be the width of your shoulders and let your feet be the width of your hips. Now wrap your upper arm bones, externally rotate them so you're allowing a little bit of extra space to keep that shoulder girdle safe. Yes, yeah, start right there. Hug your thumbs towards each other and take a little movement in your first Pose, Adho Mukha Svanasana. So just start to pedal through your feet a little bit, side to side. You might even move your head around a little bit. Just wake your body up to your practice. Say good morning or whatever time of day you might be doing this. We're accessing yogis all around the globe. Now go ahead and take a stroll. It's going to be 100,000 steps to the top of your mat. Slow you go. Just walk up. Let your feet come further than your hips when you get to the top of your mat. Soften your knees. Hang in ragdoll. In your ragdoll, shake your head out, any kind of angst or worry, any uncertainty, any doubt or dread in your head, we can do without. Shake it out, shake it out. Bring yourself right into this place, exactly where you belong. There is no coincidence you tuned in today. And then let your hands push your shins back, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, physically pull yourself together, breathe out. Do that again, pump up your heart halfway. Exhale, dive back down one more time. Lift the heart, flat back style. Hear your breath on the sigh out. <sighs> yes. Heel toe your feet to the width of your hips and then rise right up. Urdhva Hastasana. Stretch your arms out and up to the sky. Lace your hands inside out. Soften your elbows. Lean up and over to the right. Now stay right here. Slip the left foot behind the right for a little side bend with a curtsy style. Inhale back up. Exhale, right foot behind the left. Lift up and over to the left. Come back to the center. Exhale, collect your hands right at your heart center and then lace them behind your back. Slide the index fingers down the back side. Retract your shoulders. Stretch your neck and head as you look up. Exhale, bow back down. Inhale and lengthen. Step your right foot back and then let the left leg join for down dog. Hold up in your down dog. So we've been studying 
the guideposts to wholehearted living and loving. Woo! Paddle through the feet. So this is a series out of the book that Brene Brown wrote, The Gifts of Imperfection. She is an amazing rock star who has spent decades studying courage and vulnerability. Now, pop your heels up on the in-breath. Bend your knees and let them land on the out-breath. Stretch your right arm out, left leg long. Exhale, pull into the nest. Inhale, expand it out, bird dog. Exhale, draw it in. We are to let go of who you think you're supposed to be and be who you are. Stretch back out. Can you go for a little more length? Send the right thumb down, left leg bends. Can you catch it and kick the left shin back? Let your heart lift up. Reach the right hand down, left leg long, and then cross the left leg over the right. Now, circle your hips around. You might want to adjust your hands a little bit. Circle the hips around. So the fifth guidepost is about cultivating intuition and trusting faith. Whoo! Letting go. Letting go of that need for certainty. Now, come back around, slip the right leg behind the left, drop your forearms, take your gaze back to the right knee. Hold and breathe. Stretch your hips out. Now, from here, walk your hands back so they're beneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Take yourself right into a crisscrossed down dog. Pop your heels up, breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Do that again, pop the heels up, breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Unravel the right leg, lift it up, roll open at the hip. Right knee, right tricep, tap it high. Inhale, stretch it long. Exhale, right knee, left tricep, tap it up there. Inhale, stretch it up and back, roll open at the hip. Draw that right knee right into your nose. Step it forward into a low lunge. Tense your finger pads. Pull your heart through the gateway of your arms. Exhale, dive up and back. Do that again. Inhale, lift forward. How do you believe when you are not seeing what it is that you're believing for? Aha. Uh -huh. That is exactly what faith is. Lift the heart up, breathe in. Exhale, dive back down. Inhale, lift the heart up, breathe in. Now, left hand stays down, spin the right arm up. Open up for a modified revolved lunge. Now, lower the right hand. Step the left leg up to join the right. Legs are together. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, let go of who you think you're supposed to be and be who you are. The gifts of imperfection rise up, hands to heart center. Inhale, the arms up. Take the right hand on the left wrist and bend to the right. Slip the left foot behind, take that curtsy bow. Inhale, back up. Left hand, right wrist up and over to the left, right foot behind. Bend the knees, bend the arms, then stretch out to the left. Inhale, back up. Tee the arms like goalposts. Slip the hands together behind your back. Beautiful. Slide them down the back side. Look up. Believing when you're not seeing. How do you continue to keep that trust? Exhale, bow down and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Left leg is going to step back. Let the right leg join as you plant your hands into down dog. Pedal through your feet again. Little side to side pressing. Now this time, peel your heels up, pull your belly in, wrap those triceps around the back side, bend your knees and hover them. Let the knees land. 
point your toes, shift your shoulders over your wrists, bend your arms, go chin, chest, belly, retract your shoulders, lift up, breathe in, exhale up and back, breathe out, downward facing dog. Hold up in your down dog and close your eyes. Now, if you have a purpose today for your practice, maybe something you're believing for that you're not seeing right now. Just a little encouragement to listen to that inner still small voice going and being guided by what you know, not what you see. So breathe into your purpose. Open your eyes back up, pop your heels up, breathe in, shift the shoulders over the wrists, hover the shins. Land the knees. This time, left arm forward, right leg back, bird dog. Exhale into the nest. Inhale, stretch it long. Activate your core, draw it in. Inhale, stretch it long. One more time. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, stretch it long. Send that left thumb down. Bend the right leg. Catch the hand and foot. Kick the shin out. Pump the heart up. Breathe into this place. Release the left hand down, right leg is long. Cross it over the left, right off of your mat. Circle your hips around so you're getting a nice long line of energy on that right side body. Don't let what you see talk you out of what you know. Your season is coming. Yes, things are really looking up. Things are changing. We are coming out better than we came in to this chapter. Now, sneak the right leg behind the left. Drop your forearms and your hips towards your heels. Now look back at that left kneecap. Hold and stretch out the hips. Breathe. Now walk your hands back. Tuck your toes under. Now your left leg is crossed over your right. Peel your heels up, breathe in. It's a crisscross down dog. Exhale, breathe out. Do it again. Inhale, breathe in, shift. Exhale, breathe out. Now, unravel the left leg, three-legged down dog. Roll that hip of yours open. Draw the right hip back. Now, exhale, knee to nose. Left knee to nose. Inhale, stretch it out. Roll open at the hip. Now, left knee, left tricep, tap it up there. Inhale, stretch it back. Left knee, right tricep, hug it across. Inhale, stretch it back, roll open at the hip. Draw the left knee right up the center line. Step it forward, low lunge. Tense your finger pads, maybe hands on blocks. Breathe the heart in and up. Exhale, glide back. Dive over that left front leg, pyramid. Inhale, shift forward, heart lifts. Exhale, dive back, glide through the hips. Open that left hamstring. Lift the heart, breathe in. Last time, exhale, dive back. This time, right hand plant, spin open. Let the rotation come from the waist. Left knee tracks, right over toe, two and three, and then peel it open, breathe. Now, lower that left hand down. Hop up to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, dive down, pull yourself together. Rise up, breathe in. Let the hands part out to the sides. Right leg lifts this time. Crane, right leg up and over. Right arm sneaks under for eagle pose. Now, exhale, draw the eagle right into the nest. Round the back, tuck the chin. Draw into your own midline, all bound up. Keep the breath flowing. Unravel the right leg, praying mantis with eagle arms. Dive into it. Now step back, unravel the arms. Crescent lunge, left leg is in front. Reach out and up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, warrior two. Flip that left palm, peaceful, arc up and back. Pinwheel your hands down, move your body through that vinyasa flow. Point your toes, rise up, back bend of choice. 
exhale, dive your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Walk your feet in a little bit, take the right hand, cross it underneath toward the left heel, twisting your down dog. You might want to shorten it up and let the rotation come from the upper body. Breathe. Now holding right here, you might want to give it a whirl, balance on your left foot and your left hand, right leg lifts. Hug right into your own midline, steady your gaze. Not an easy balance because you're on the same hand and foot. Now release the right hand down along with the right leg. Pop your heels up. This is a fake launch. Bend your knees, hips to heels. Just stretch out your spine. Spiral your inner thighs back in. Dive that left arm underneath. Twist your down dog. Let the gaze go up and under that right arm. Now, maybe holding on to that stability, hugging into your own midline. Lift the left leg up. Finding that place of balance. Any given day, yes? Now release left hand down and left foot down. Go ahead and pop your heels up this time. This is a real launch. Bend your knees, step, float, hop, fly, feet to hands at the top of your mat. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, dive. Sweep your arms out and up. Keep the arms up. Lift the left leg up, part the arms, hold in crane. Now left leg up and over, left arm under, come in to eagle. Now if that doesn't work, just do a nice hug with your arms. Now exhale, draw into your midline. Eagle is coming right into the nest. Dive over the right front leg as you unlace the left. Somebody breathe. Step back, crescent lunge, breathe in, stretch your arms up high. Exhale, breathe out, warrior two. You've got it, flip that right palm, peaceful, arc up and back. Exhale, pinwheel your hands down. Shoot the right leg back, dive down. Right leg joins the left, offer the heart up. Exhale, dive up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, breathe out. Walking your feet a little bit closer in. Inhale, pop the heels up, breathe in. This time, bend your knees, hop, float, fly to Malasana. Feet outside your pinky fingers. Land nice and soft. Inhale, rise up, stay up. Heel toe the right foot into the center. Fly the left leg up for flying tree. Now, left leg over, left arm under, come into eagle. Exhale, draw the e eagle into the nest. Unravel the left leg. Bend down over the right leg. Step it back, crescent lunge, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Flip that right palm, come with me, arc it up and back, straighten the right leg, reach up and back. Reach out and down. Triangle pose, right hand down, left arm up. Put a little buoyancy in that right knee. Left hand behind your back, possibly the top of the right thigh. Float up, half bound, half moon. Open it up. Release it for full half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Slip the left hand on the left foot Re for a Chapasana variation. Open up your heart, breathe in, wholehearted living. Release, don't go by what you see, go by what you know, L shape. Sneak the left hand down, pull the right hip back, right arm up, revolved half moon. That possible Chapasana connection, like we did in the beginning of class in Bird Dog, breathe. Release that connection. Exhale, left knee to right knee, perch pose. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, dive back in, use your core. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, dive in and hold. Set it next to the right, left foot next to the right. You might have to sneak back, 
chair pose. Exhale, dive over your legs, plant your hands, pop your knees right onto your upper arms or stay in malasana. You choose, you decide. Hugging into your own midline. No float back. Land with your feet down. Breathe. From Malasana, rise up, stand tall. Heel toe that left foot into the center. Create that balance. Fly your tree as the right hand captures the right shin. Stand tall, steady your gaze. Right leg crosses over, right arm under. Eagle pose. Draw the eagle right into the nest. Unravel the right leg, left leg bends. Dive over it. Step back, unravel it all. Crescent lunge. Open it up, Virabhadrasana two. Flip that left palm, stay with it, peace. Straighten the left leg, reach up and back. Reverse your triangle. Dock your hips back, out and down. Left hand down, soften the left front knee, right arm up. Lengthen your side bodies, hug into your midline. Right hand behind your back, possibly the top of the left thigh. Float up, half bound, half moon. You choose, you decide, or no bind. Unleash it all, open up, shine wholehearted living. How do you follow that intuition? You might have to get quiet. Breathe, capture the right hand to the foot and listen to that inner small voice. It's never, ever, ever wrong. It just gets distracted. It just gets distracted by all the noise in the system. Dive over the left leg. Maybe that means you turn off some of the screen time. We're getting into a beautiful time of year around here. Lift that right leg up. Right leg bends, left arm reaches back. We are coming out better than when we came in. Open up, maybe that connection. Release into an L shape. Exhale, right knee matches the left. Perch pose, right toes point. Inhale, stretch it back, stay with it. Exhale, dive it back in. Build that heat in your body. Stretch it back. Exhale, dive it back in. Set the right leg next to the left. Scoop your arms up, Utkatasana chair pose. From your chair, rise up, stand tall, breathe in. Tee the arms, breathe out. Right arm laces under, right leg laces over. Eagle pose. Now, exhale the eagle into the nest again. This time, release the right foot down, unleash the arms, swing them back like wings, lace them, dive over your legs. Let your head hang. Bend the right knee, turn open to the left. Yes, pull the right hip back. Now, release and bend the left knee. So there is a story of faith that is very interesting to me. It's about the eagle. So fold over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, bow down and fold. Rise back up. It's about the eagle. Eagles soar above any of the small stuff below. Hands to heart center. Part the arms. Lift the left leg up. Left leg over. Left arm under. Right back into eagle pose on the left. Exhale. So when a baby eaglet is born, the mama eagle hug into the nest. Now this time unravel it all, sweep both wings back, dive over the legs, lacing the hands, opposite thumb on top. Powerful stuff, bend the left leg, turn open to the right. So the baby eaglet is born, but it is first, an egg is hatched, that's how eaglets are born. The mama eagle, bend the right leg, turn open to the left, sits on the egg for 35 days. Dive back over. Release the hands down. Step your body into high plank. Hold. So the mama eagle is staying right on the egg where the baby eaglet is. 
go back to down dog. And there is absolutely no movement. No kicking, no fluttering, no movement. She sits for 35 days, unlike a human birth, like Patrick Albert Smell, kicked like there was no tomorrow. There is no movement. Shift back into high plank from down dog. Exhale up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Shift again, plank asana. Hold in plank, hold in plank. I want you to hold, retract your, no, protract your shoulders. Push them away. Drop your knees down. Point your toes. Sweep your arms alongside your body. Bow your head down. Come into the nest, into embryo pose. So that mama, that mama eagle sits on that egg for 35 days. No signs, not even one sign of any type of movement. And then what happens? The 35th day, that eaglet busts out of that egg. Walk your hands up your thighs. Tuck your toes under, upright your body. Sweep the arms out and up. The eaglet comes out, 35 days, no movement, no sign of birth. And then, wow, all at one time. Lace the right arm under, eagle arms, arc up and back. Exhale, brush and sweep your hands along the side edges of your feet, bow down. Walk your hands back up. Sweep your arms out and up. Lift your hips up off your heels. Tee the arms, left arm laces under. Eagle arms arc up and back. Exhale, brush and sweep, bow down. Bow down back to the earth. So that is what faith is. No matter how it looks, no matter what you see, you keep on believing and listening to that still small voice. Push your hands into the earth, rise up. Round your back, tuck your chin, point your toes, walk your hands right up your thighs. Ustrasana, camel pose. Sweep the arms out and up. Tee the arms this time. Knit the heart in with your purpose. Slip your hands either in your back pockets, maybe on your heels. You might want your toes tucked or you might want them pointed. And lift your heart up. It's a lifting pose. Breathe. Now reach your hands back down, cross the right leg over the left, rock your hips back, come all the way back around to a comfortable, easy seat. Now in this easy seat, slip your hands beneath your kneecaps and spin your waist around your sits bones. Yes, yeah, swirl it around. So just signifying the mobility and the movement that has come into your body, no matter what the outside picture looks like, just go by what you know and not by what you see. Oh, that is faith. And let go of that need to know exactly how things are going to unfold. If we have learned anything during this past year, it would be, that one thing we know for sure is things are going to change. Now, reverse the legs, opposite leg on top. It might not be as comfortable. And then reverse the direction. Spin around in the opposite direction. So think about that baby eaglet and the faith that mom has to have when she sat on that egg for 35 days with no movement whatsoever. That's what faith looks like, believing when you cannot see and listening by stilling the body, the mind, the heart, the soul. Still right now, still it, sit up tall, close your eyes. Sweep your arms, your wings right out and up Gather all that is good, all of those blessings, all of those gifts, all of that faith and intuition. Seal it into your heart as you let go of that need for certainty. Just have faith in the plan for your life. Seal that peace, that love, that purpose into your heart. Open your eyes up, sit up tall, and finish together with one ohm to home. Sip your breath in. 
Home. Now go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your